Tonight, it's a wait for a new congressional map, but also the possible start of an election run. While the state awaits a court decision on what the new congressional districts will look like, some former and current state lawmakers are eyeing a run in District 2. WDHN State Capitol reporter Matty Beer Temple is in Montgomery with the story. It's not clear whether current District 2 Republican Congressman Barry Moore will run for that seat as all three map proposals push him into District 1. Some Democratic state lawmakers, however, see this new district as a chance to flip that seat blue. The new district will likely have 49 to 50 percent black voters based on the special master's proposals. Birmingham Democrat Representative Wandelin Gavan is considering a run. My race will be a race that is simply what about the people? Gavan doesn't live in the district being proposed, which isn't required, but says she'd be the best voice for the people there. If I were to win uh, this seat, I would definitely take a, uh, a residence in the area for sure uh, of some sort. And uh, but, in, but even with that, my goal is to be a voice for the people. Another Birmingham Democratic state lawmaker, Senator Marika Coleman, says she's been thinking about this for a while. When this ruling came down in June, Again, my phone started ringing. Um, we undercover kind of put together an exploratory team um, that has been looking at for the past few months. We've been talking to people for several months about the possibilities. Whether she runs or not, Coleman says this district is bigger than just her. What an awesome opportunity for black voters in the state of Alabama to be able to pick the candidate of their choice. But it's not just Democrats who may throw their hat in the ring. Former Montgomery Republican State Senator Dick Brubaker said on the phone he's interested in running. He says he's waiting to see what the court and Congressman Moore decide to do. But he says if there's no incumbent, he thinks it's winnable as a Republican. Now, we'll likely get a better idea of what that new district will look like pretty soon. Federal judges have a hearing scheduled on this issue tomorrow. Reporting in Montgomery, Maddie Beer Temple, WDHN News for the Wiregrass.